Hi everyone, my name is Rosemary, founder of TechAble Assistive Technology. Most students are taking classes online these days because of COVID-19, so schools are using web-based learning management system called LMS to conduct classes. By logging into the LMS, students are expected to read their class materials and homeworks, which are posted online, and also complete their homework and submit homework online. And students communicate with teachers and other students online, mostly in writing. Therefore, students in IP, especially students with invisible disabilities, such as learning disabilities, ADHD, autism, and etc., are facing a lot of difficulties with online classes, which require more reading and writing. Our school district uses a LMS called Canvas along with Google G Suite for education, such as Google Doc and Google Drive. So through two training videos, I'd like to introduce two Google extensions, which can be helpful for students to participate in the online classes. Today, I'm going to show how to use Snap and Read Google extension, which can help students in reading materials posted online. And in the following video, I like to show how to use CoWriter, which can help students in writing within the Canvas, Google Apps, and educational websites. Both of these programs, Snap and Read and CoWriter, are products of a company called Don Johnston. And these programs can be very helpful for students who speak English as a second language. Okay, let's get started. So this screen shows an elementary science class page in Canvas. As you can see here, teachers have been working hard to teach online. So the teacher posts class materials and homeworks in here and students are expected to read what's posted, respond to questions, and submit homeworks in Canvas. And if you see here on the left hand side, each student is assigned a Google Drive so a student can read the documents that are uploaded by the teachers in Google Drive and homeworks can be completed using Google Apps, such as Google Docs and Slides. Let me first show you how to use Snap and Read in Canvas. I already have Snap and Read Google extension installed in here, but if you like to install it from Chrome, Chrome web browser, you need to go to Chrome Web Store web store. Um, to go there, click this button, show apps, um, located at the top left corner of the browser. And in here, there is web store button. So click and go to web store. And then search for snap and read. So this is the Snap and Read Google extension. So click, and then I already have it, so I cannot install, but you will see install button um, here. So click and install um, the extension. So once you install it, you will see this icon among the Chrome extension icons. Let me click and turn on Snap and Read extension by click the icon and then here I'll turn it on. So when it is turned on, the snap and read menu buttons appears on the right side. The first button 
in the menu is called speak. So when you read the class materials and what's posted here, um, if you want to listen to what's written here, you need to click this button and then just click wherever you want to start reading. Next, we shared what we think we already know about Earth as a planet and its place in space. And then I can click here to stop um, and then again. Then, we completed a class simulation with a magnetic sphere and paper clips. As I held the ball, so anywhere in this screen, if I click this button and click the text, um, it will start reading from there. The button right below the speak is called screenshot reader. And I'll come back to this later to explain how to use this. And one below that button is called simplify vocabulary. Let me show you how you can use this. So um, if you click this button, I don't know if you noticed it, but some of the words in the text are displayed in italic. So these, so if I click this italicized word like this, so the the word investigate, if I click it, it shows that words, word into more easy to understand words. Um, let me do one more thing. So here, considerations, if I click, um, it display the word consideration into the words that's more easy to understand. And if I click speak button, and then students the could do anything they wanted with safety things to carefully think about in mind with the paper as long as it proved that all objects will event um it's going to read the text with easy to understand words so this feature will turn the text into the text that's more like easier to understand and then if i click again it will um, show the original text and then button below that is translate button so um, the way you can use this is you first select the text and then click this translate button then it's going to translate the text into the language which I've specified under snap and read um, extension setting. So for this demonstration, I have set the language in Spanish. But if you click here, snap and read extension icon, and then go to options. In here, I can change the language under, under translate into. And then it has all, many different languages that you can translate into. And if you look at the left hand side, here you can change the reading voice and also reading speed and uh, volume. So you can adjust the reading settings. And let me go back to the Canvas page. And um, the, so let me select and then do the translate one more time. And if you click speak and then click the text. A continuación, cada uno usó una hoja de papel para investigar la expresión. You can also um, listen to the text in translated language. Let me click and turn it off. And then 
one button below that it's the color overlay button so if i click this button and move the cursor to the text on the screen it highlights the line where the cursor is placed so it helps you to focus on what you are reading okay and then let me turn it off and this time let me go to one of the website so when students need to read information on the internet um all the snap and read features can be used on the website too so i can use the speak button why do you land on the ground when you jump up instead of floating off into space and of course the simplify vocabulary and translate will work in here too like that and ¿Por qué aterrizas en el suelo cuando saltas en lugar de flotar en el espacio? And then the color overlay also works. Okay. And let me turn it off. And sometimes you see the text is displayed as part of the image or picture. So if the text is displayed as part of the image, um, this speak button um, won't be able to read this text. So in this case, this, the second button, the screenshot reader feature can be used. Um, this feature is character recognition feature. So if I click that button, and then select the text inside the image or picture. Watch, Watch this, this video, video to find, find out more about, about these areas of immense gravity. gravity. Uh, it will extract the text from the image and read the text to you. Okay, let me turn it off. And then this time, let me go to another website. And when you read text on a website, um, most time there are buttons and links on the website. And you will also sometimes find um, many different web um, advertisements that can distract us. So um, if I go to snap and read extension and then there is remove distractions feature so if i click this and turn it on this feature will remove um, links and advertisements from the website which can help students to concentrate and only read the text on the website and if I go back and then click show original, it changes the website back to the original view. The last feature I like to introduce is under snap and read extension button, this show outlines feature. So I'll click it, turn it on and when the show outline feature is turned on um, you'll see this um, new window um, appears this feature helps students easily organize the information while browsing and reading websites so i'm going to click this plus button to create a new outline and then when um, student is reading the website and find um, information, the information can be organized 
under this outline. So um, the snap and read button from here, the last one is capture text button. So you click that and then you can just select um, the text that you like to save. Like this. So when the text is selected, as you can see here under outline, the information is put inside quotation marks to avoid uh, plagiarism. And then the address of the website is also copied under the information. So let me capture another text. And then same thing you can see here. Let me uh, also go to other website and then um, click capture text and then I'll just select fused um, sentences. And as you can see here, it's all organized on their outline with the text and the web address. And if you see next to outline, there is sources button. So if I click that, all the um, references are organized in the format um, you choose. So you can change it to MLA format, APA, and Chicago format. So um, it will organize all the references um, into the format that you choose. I've showed how to use Snap and Read Google extension, which can help students in reading online materials. In the next video, I'll show how to use CoreWriter Google extension, which can help students in writing. Okay, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.